Hi there. In this tutorial we're going to go ahead and build out this little spacer piece. There are a few landmarks that I would like to call to your attention. The first one is going to be these two holes. They correlate with this hole and this hole. And then also this curvature here matches the back of the knife handle and this is kind of the midpoint so the rubber piece needs to kind of go a little bit beyond uh, the midpoint and then you can kind of get a sense for how much space there should be on this side. Now in addition to this the uh, the little teeth here they actually sort of extend beyond uh, the, the the outer dimension here of the handle to give you a little bit of a grip I suppose. So to begin I want it to mostly match this curvature and the reason I'm using this inside face is because this one has got kind of this other stuff in the way that's that's uh, uh, a little bit messy but this one's nice and clean so I'm going to go to sketch and create sketch and we can come uh, over to the bodies and hide them just for a moment actually I need to turn them on for one second so I'm gonna go sketch line so we'll make a little line here and I'm actually I'm gonna need to, for this to be a little bit higher so I'm gonna start my line out here and then we can kind of trim everything up and I'm gonna make a spline so from that point down a little bit more than halfway and then we can give it a little bit of a bend definitely want to make sure that it's got that little curvature to it and now we can say okay on that so now let's hide the bodies and I'm going to do an offset so we'll go to uh, sketch and then offset and I'm going to grab this edge and we'll just pull it out a little bit so that's going to be the thickness of our teeth. But now I need to do a little bit of a trim because it doesn't actually, the little rubber piece doesn't really extend past the back of the knife here. It's just kind of a nice clean uh, sort of termination there. So let's look at the references to make sure. So yeah, it's it's pretty subtle back there. So if we just can just make it kind of line up with this piece, I think it'll be it'll be good. So I am going to do one more line from here kind of in this area and we can actually make these two tangent so if I go to tangent click that and that it'll well maybe I really like that for some reason maybe because there's a there's a, a geometry based constraint in there but I, I think that's gonna be fine so let's hide the geo and do some trimming here so we'll trim it there and over here and hit OK. So that's this right here is kind of what we're looking for. So it'll match the curvature, it's parallel to that top curvature and lines up beautifully with the back. So that's, that's what we need. So I'm going to hit stop sketch and because it's up against this inside face I know if I do a press pull and set this to 4.5 It'll go all the way to the other side, and then I just need to make sure that this is set to new body. And there is the the uh, the main piece. So now I'm going to hide everything else, and we can take a look real quick at the uh, the reference here. So to my eye, these things look a little bit more like ovals than circles, and there are seven of them, and there's a little bit of a space. Uh, on either side and it's about the same amount of space in the middle so let's see how close we can get to that. I'm going to go and make a new sketch and I don't actually need any of that sketch stuff there so I'll go to sketch and then I'm going to make an ellipse and it'll kind of follow the surface there it's fairly intuitive something like that hit OK. We can stop the sketch now and uh, do a press pull. But I'm going to make this into a new body. Now I didn't worry about doing the top piece. Maybe I should have, but this is only this is the only part that's actually going to intersect, so that's actually totally fine. So we'll go to Create Pattern, Pattern on Path. So the, the uh, pattern bodies are deselected. I'm going to come over to Path and just select this line here. 
and we can drag it out kind of like that and you can see it isn't actually following the, uh, the curvature of the surface which we really need so if you just come to this little menu here and uh, select path direction it'll go ahead and conform and now I need to increase this to 7 and I'm going to slide it back a little bit and I think that's probably okay we'll hit alright and now I can do a modify now I would like to chamfer this edge easily now that it's just one piece but if you look at the reference the chamfer actually doesn't hit this last piece this is sort of a little bit of a different thing it's more of a, of a fillet so we're gonna need to do the cut and then do the chamfer and then do the fillet so let's go to uh, whoops modify combine select the starting geo and then the cutting geo make sure we have cut selected and hit OK and now I'm gonna come and grab try to make sure I don't get these points here whoops just get all these edges and then we'll go to modify and chamfer and that looks fine and now I'm going to grab both of these and do modify and fill it see what one looks like maybe like 0.75 hit OK well, let's go ahead and show everything so I'm feeling like this might be just a little bit too short, now nah, it's going to screw it up take a look at the reference well, that's probably okay although it does have a fillet on that side as well that might help a little bit so let's try that we'll go to modify just wanted to make sure that chamfer actually went all the way which it does so we'll grab that and do modify and fill it and I think we said like 0.5 maybe yeah or whatever something close to it and this is looking pretty good to me except I do wish there was a little bit more a little bit more space on the end there so I'm gonna take advantage of the flexibility here turn this sketch back on if I can track it down I think it's actually on let's see yeah so we'll do edit sketch so I'm just gonna grab this and scoot it down a little bit and then we'll scroll this back up and see how that affects things. I may need to modify some stuff. So a little bit too far down there, so I'm gonna actually come back and do an edit feature and just kind of slide it back. Everything should update nicely. Cool, that went too bad. All right, so uh, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and add in the, uh, the nuts and bolts that hold this thing together.